For thousands of years, humans have traveled the world by water. Be it strong waves, terrible storms, or heated battles, there are countless ways in which boats can capsize, making sea travel a risky business. However, there are some areas of the globe that are much, much more dangerous than others. So today, pull the rigging and prepare to set sail as we count down the 15 most dangerous oceans and seas in the world. Number 15. Caribbean Sea while the Caribbean is filled with beautiful islands that are perfect for a tropical vacation, from June 1st to November 30th, these islands are often battered by a series of hurricanes. These storms can range in size, although it's the Caribbean Sea's precarious position that makes them so common. See, hurricanes tend to form off the coast of Africa, and as the wind passes over the ocean's surface, water evaporates and rises. This water then cools and condenses into large cumulonimbus clouds, and once wind speeds reach 119 km per hour, the storm officially becomes a hurricane. When this happens, the clouds are generally at at least 15,000 meters high, and the whole system is generally at least 200 kilometers across, and when they hit the ground, the results are often deadly. In recent years, the most destructive hurricane by far has been the one and only Hurricane Katrina, which in the year 2005 ripped through the Caribbean and the southern United States and caused nearly 1,400 fatalities and $145 billion in damages. So, yeah, it's fair to say that the Caribbean Sea is capable of a whole lot of destruction. Number 14. The Dead Sea When it comes to dangerous spots, the Dead Sea is a bit of a mixed bag. It's located between Jordan, Israel, and Palestine. It's one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth, and it has a salinity of 342 grams per kilogram, or 34%. For reference, this is about 9.6 times saltier than the ocean, and this saltiness is both a positive and a negative based on how you look at it. On one hand, the Dead Sea salt is great for your skin, and for over 2,000 years, medical resorts have existed on its shores to take advantage of its health benefits. On the other hand, the salinity is so high that no plants or animals can live there, and the salt levels are so extreme that experts recommend limiting the Dead Sea swim to about 20 minutes or less. This is because a prolonged stint in its waters can cause such issues as dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, and if the water happens to get into your eyes, nose, or mouth, you'll immediately get a very uncomfortable burning sensation. So while the Dead Sea is a cool place to visit, I'd suggest being very cautious when going for a dip in it. Number 13. The Bering Sea When it comes to notoriety, few areas of the ocean are quite as feared as the Bering Sea. Featured in shows such as The Deadliest Catch and Bering Sea Gold, the sea is rich in both fish and mineral deposits. But getting to the resources can prove to be very challenging. Located off the coast of Alaska, the Arctic temperatures make the water and air extremely frigid, with this treachery being compounded by the area's strong winds and glaciers. In fact, these conditions are so awful that the Bering Sea is home to some of the most insane waves on the planet, with water levels often rising and falling by as much as 9 meters in a single day. While there are several factors behind the size of these waves, one of the most important is the fact that the Bering Sea is very shallow. This is crucial because it makes waves shorter and more powerful than deep sea waves, causing storms to be stronger than they would otherwise be. Therefore, unless you have a heavy-duty vessel and the equipment necessary to extract some of its precious resources, I'd stay far away from this crazy body of water. Number 12. The Drake Passage while technically not an ocean or a sea, the Drake Passage gets a spot on this list due to its unique status as the conversion point between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. First traversed by the Spanish navigator Francisco de Hoches, in the English world, the passage has been named after Sir Francis Drake due to the fact that he passed through this area during his circumnavigation of the globe, although today this body of water is best known for its dodgy conditions. It's located between Chile and Antarctica. It's an 800-kilometer-wide passageway that facilitates a collision between oceans. This mixing of cold water from the south and warm water from the north creates powerful eddies, and these are amplified due to the fact that there's no large landmass to moderate them. This makes them extremely powerful, and when combined with the frequent storms and frigid cold temperatures in the area, it should come as little surprise that traveling through the Drake Passage is nothing if not uncomfortable. Yet, despite this fact, the conditions have caused many to nickname it the Drake Shake. Those who go on ships with lots of stabilizers often had such a good experience that they nicknamed the passage the Drake Lake. So, while the area is rather stormy, with the right boat, you can have relatively smooth sailing. Number 11. The Pacific Ocean if its name is any indication, the Pacific Ocean should be pretty safe. After all, the name Pacific is derived from the word peace, with its name being given to this body of water due to the fact that it rarely gets stormy. 
However, while the Pacific may look calm and peaceful, that doesn't mean that dangers don't lurk within. First and foremost, the western half of the Pacific is a risky place to swim due to the sheer numbers of venomous species. Known for being home to its fair share of jellyfish and sharks, these areas are generally filled with coral reefs. This is not only a hazard to poorly trained divers, but also to sailors, as the reef can easily cause a ship to capsize if not navigated properly. The Pacific Ocean is also home to much of the Ring of Fire, which is a 40,000-kilometer-long horseshoe filled with volcanoes that can blow at a moment's notice and cause massive tsunamis that periodically hammer East and Southeast Asia. If that wasn't bad enough, even the sheer size of the Pacific is enough to make it a danger zone, as the fact that it's a staggering 20,000 kilometers long make navigating this waterway a serious danger for even the most experienced of sailors. So, while the Pacific Ocean may seem peaceful at first, it's anything but. Number 10. The Baltic Sea While the Baltic Sea may be a relatively safe thing in terms of both the amount of storms and geopolitical location, it earns a spot on this list because of its status as an extremely dirty body of water. You see, after World War II, an agreement was made that allowed Britain and the Soviet Union to dump around 65,000 tons of Germany's chemical weapons stockpile into the Baltic Sea. While this was seen as a relatively safe endeavor at the time, it turns out that the shells and drums full of hazardous waste weren't sealed all that well, causing some of the chemicals to leak. In fact, about 10 years ago, researchers at Poland's Military University of Technology found traces of mustard gas on the seabed, just a few hundred meters off the Polish coast. And unsurprisingly, this is a massive safety hazard. After all, if the mustard gas had come from this underwater stockpile, then this would mean that the chemicals were doing some serious damage. And if they had not and come from an unknown chemical stockpile, then it may be the case that there's far more pollution in the Baltic Sea than historians believe there to be. In either case, the situation does not look all that great, and as a result, many believe that unless this waste is addressed, the whole sea may just be a ticking time bomb. Number 9. The North Sea while the UK, Denmark, and Norway are all first world countries with a very high standard of living, the sailors who are forced to go between these countries via the North Sea have a much more miserable existence than the average citizen. On one hand, the North Sea is a treasure trove filled with fish and oil. It's a lucrative place to do business, although these benefits are offset by its extremely dangerous waters. Known for its insanely high waves, strong currents, and forceful winds, many shipwrecks have occurred within it. Even that the average water temperature is as low as 6 degrees Celsius in the winter, it just barely remains unfrozen, making it a frigid place to sail over during the colder months. While all of these factors may make the North Sea sound like something out of a nightmare, there are some interesting factors that make it as treacherous as it is. One of the most important is the fact that it receives a lot of prevailing westerly winds from the Northwest European shelf, creating an intense cyclone circulation pattern that whips up bad weather and encourages storm surges. If that wasn't bad enough, atmospheric influences from the northern Atlantic increase wind speeds while the sea's shallow topography encourages its strong currents and waves. So I think you'd agree, the North Sea would not be the best place to go cruising through. Number 8. The South China Sea The South China Sea is an area that's heavily contested by many Southeast Asian countries, as China, Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam all have claims to it. This has made this body of water quite volatile, although it's dangerous in more ways than one. On a surface level, China's activities in the South China Sea make it a hotbed for tensions. You see, China desperately wants to control all of the fish, oil, and shipping lanes that are found in this area. And in order to do so, China's begun to build militarized man-made islands. These effectively extend China's maritime borders, allowing them to make claims to areas within these islands' coastlines, and then strong-arm other countries into accepting these claims. Unsurprisingly, this militarization allows China to threaten foreign ships, and to date various incidents have happened with vessels that try to contest China's dominance. Beyond the geopolitical and military threats, the South China Sea is also dangerous due to its geography. You see, a large portion of its southeast is filled with low islands, keys, sunken reefs, and atolls that threaten the safety of those sailing there. Known as the dangerous ground, the area is poorly charted, and even today, maps will often have conflicting reports of what is and isn't located there. As a result, given the situation in the area, I'd suggest staying away from the South China Sea unless it's absolutely necessary. Number 7. The Southern Ocean Antarctica is easily one of the harshest and most frigid regions on the planet, 
and so it makes sense that it's home to one of the most treacherous bodies of water. Known as the Southern Ocean, it consists of all the water south of the 60-degree latitude line, and it's known for being extremely stormy at all times. The main reason for this is that it has the unique distinction of being a circumpolar ocean. This means that the water flows completely around the globe without interruption by any landmass. And this is important because this lack of land means there's nothing to break up the water or provide friction. This can be a problem because it allows massive waves and currents to swell without anything to stop them. These conditions are near a constant thing too, and so it makes sense that scientists have made efforts to better understand this circumpolar phenomenon. For example, in a collaboration between Met Ocean Solutions and the New Zealand Defense Force, scientists have deployed a massive high-tech buoy that can collect and analyze data about the waves. This is important because the violent winds and monstrous waves exchange carbon, nutrients, and heat in a cycle. And since this impacts our climate, understanding this dynamic will allow us to better comprehend how our planet's temperature regulation works. So while the Southern Ocean is quite dangerous, better understanding it will be of great help to the scientific community. Number 6. Sea of Marmara Unless you're really into geography, chances are that you've never heard of the Sea of Marmara. It's located within Turkey's borders. It's connected to both the Aegean and Black Seas, and for years was an important source of economic life. However, in recent years, the sea has become a massive hazard due to the presence of sea snot. Sea snot is a thick, gelatinous, organic matter that's produced when phytoplankton populations grow out of control thanks to increased nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. While these nutrients have increased quantity thanks to increased levels of agricultural and raw sewage runoff, the heating of the water thanks to global warming has accelerated the sea snot generation process, and the end result has been an ocean thick with this organic matter. While the sea snot itself isn't harmful, it's a threat when found in large quantities for a number of reasons. For one, it can become a host to toxic microorganisms and dangerous bacteria such as E. coli, making it dangerous to swim in. When it forms a layer large enough to cover the water's surface, it can prevent fish from being able to breathe, causing mass die-offs and enabling plummeting oxygen levels that choke other forms of marine life. If that wasn't bad enough, the slime can even clog up boat motors, making it impossible for someone to traverse a seaway safely. So, therefore, unless Turkey undertakes some serious cleanup efforts, the Sea of Marmara will likely be quite toxic for the foreseeable future. Number 5. The Sea of Azov the war between Russia and Ukraine has been nothing if not intense, and the body of water that has perhaps seen the most action during the conflict has been the Sea of Azov. Bordering both Russia and Ukraine, the sea has been a point of contention for years, and while Russia's invasion of Ukraine has more or less been a resounding failure, one of their few victories thus far has been their ability to turn the Sea of Azov into an inland sea. This is because major coastal cities along the Sea of Azov, such as Maripol, Berdyansk, and Kerch, all controlled by Russia. And this has allowed Russia to make full use of the sea to supply Crimea. Unsurprisingly, Ukraine has been actively trying to hinder Russian operations in the area, and while several attacks have been carried out, the most famous came on October 8th of 2022. That's because it was on this date that a major explosion occurred on a bridge, causing two lanes of the Crimea-bound road segment to collapse, severely damaging the railway section and causing several oil tanker wagons on the rail section to catch fire. While no one has claimed responsibility for the attacks, many believe that Ukrainian forces were behind it, although alternate theories such as the accidental detonation of a bomb has also been put forward. However, no matter what the truth of the matter is, I think it's fair to say that the Sea of Azov is not the most friendly place to set sail for the time being. Number 4. The Black Sea while Russia has fully surrounded the Sea of Azov as a result of their invasion of Ukraine, one area that's still under contention is the Black Sea. Extending along the western flank of Ukraine's southern coast and also bordered by Turkey, Bulgaria, Romania, Moldova, Russia, and the Russian-occupied territory of Crimea, this sea is an extremely important route that's home to rich hydrocarbon deposits, vital grain shipping lanes, and a sea route through the Sea of Marmara that eventually flows out to the Aegean and Mediterranean seas. Unsurprisingly, this has put it at center stage in the war between Russia and Ukraine, as coordinated efforts between Russia and their ally Turkey have resulted in the sea more or less being blocked off to NATO forces. More specifically, Russia maintains a very large fleet in the region, and at the beginning of the war, Turkey blocked off entry into the area so any new battleships would not be able to come in and support Ukraine. 
At the same time, Ukraine has been doing their best to counter Russian initiatives, as earlier in the war they sunk the Moskva, which was the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, and retook Snake Island, which is the site where Russia took early in the war and where a Ukrainian soldier went viral for telling a Russian warship to go F itself. In any case, it goes without saying that this sea is rife with tensions, and so unless you want to be caught in the middle, I'd suggest staying far away from the Black Sea for the foreseeable future. Number 3. The Arctic Ocean While the Arctic Ocean may be the world's smallest ocean, it nonetheless stands apart for being one of the most dangerous. First and foremost, its cold temperatures and tendency to freeze over in the winter is killer, as its frigid frost not only makes travel difficult, but also has frozen ships so badly that they're completely crushed as they wait out the winter. The Arctic Ocean is also dotted with many large and small islands, and for an inexperienced navigator, this can make it difficult to get from one place to another. Unfortunately, these are threats that the annals of history have covered all too well. After all, the Arctic Ocean is home to the Northwest Passage. This is an area of the Arctic Ocean that connects the Pacific and Atlantic, and since the late 1400s there have been attempts to cross it. While the first tries at it were unsuccessful, in 1906, Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen and his crew became the first to cross the Northwest Passage entirely by sea. However, due to its frozen winter waters, crossing it has generally proved unfeasible until recently. That's because climate change and warming temperatures has caused Arctic sea ice to melt, and in the summer of 2007 the entire route was ice-free for the first time in recorded history. As a result, interest in the Northwest Passage and the Arctic Ocean has increased significantly. However, it also may cause a massive geopolitical contest. This is because while Canada claims the passage as its own, since it entirely passes through its territory, the United States claims the area is in international waters. However, only time will tell who will win the battle to monopolize on the passage. Number 2. The Mediterranean Sea when you think of dangerous waterways, the Mediterranean is probably not what comes to mind. After all, it's home to beautiful seaside countries such as Portugal, Italy, Greece, and Spain. And in most people's minds, the beautiful coasts and incredible beaches in these areas make the sea look anything but dangerous. However, it turns out that both the geographic and geopolitical situation in the Mediterranean makes it a very risky waterway. In a geographic sense, the Mediterranean is both blessed and cursed by the fact that it's an enclosed sea. This is because while this enclosed nature has been of benefit to many countries within it geopolitically, it's also created a situation where there's far less space for waves to dissipate. This leads to waves being shorter and steeper than would be elsewhere, which during a storm can break ships in half. The Mediterranean is also subject to the Mistral, which is a wind current in southern France that often produces gusts of up to 185 kilometers an hour. And if you get caught in it, there's a pretty strong chance you won't make it out alive. To top this off, in a geopolitical sense, the Mediterranean is also home to one of the most exploitative refugee operations in the world. More specifically, conflict has driven migrants from North Africa and the Middle East to flee their homelands, and due to their location, a trip across the Med to Europe is often quite sensible. However, the captains of these ships are often heartless profiteers who suck out all the life savings of their desperate victims in order to have them pay for passage on rubber dinghies and poorly constructed boats. When combined with the bad weather, this has in turn made the Mediterranean the world's deadliest sea crossing. After all, between 2014 and 2019, nearly 20,000 men, women, and children drowned in the Med. And even in 2022, about 100 migrants died per month while making the risky voyage. So while the Mediterranean may seem benign, it's anything but. Number 1. The Indian Ocean while many oceans are dangerous due to climactic conditions, the Indian Ocean has the unfortunate status of being a problematic place in terms of both geography and geopolitics. Situated in the vast areas between India, Africa, and Southeast Asia, the Indian Ocean is absolutely massive, and it gets a spot on this list for a number of reasons. On one hand, its warm temperatures make it susceptible to storms like monsoons, tsunamis, and cyclones, making it quite dangerous to live along its coasts. Perhaps the best example of this danger came not too long ago, as in 2004 there was a tsunami so devastating it caused 30 meter high waves that killed approximately 230,000 people in 14 different countries, while causing an estimated $13 billion in damages. However, beyond the bad weather, the Indian Ocean is also infamous for being home to the Gulf of Aden, consisting of the coastlines of Djibouti, Somalia, and Yemen. 
it's necessary to pass through it to use the Suez Canal, while the recent civil war in Yemen has made the Gulf a volatile battleground between Saudi Arabian and Iranian forces. What has historically been far worse was the threat of pirates sailing from Somalia. You see, after the Somalian government collapsed in 1991, the Somalian navy disbanded, and as a result, foreign fishing boats and dumping trawlers came in and began to overfish and pollute the Gulf of Aden. This effectively put Somalia's fishermen out of business, and so they began to team up with ex-soldiers to protect their resources. This eventually evolved into full-out raids against foreign ships, and their operations became so complex that a system of funding from local investors on the mainland came into play to support larger and larger raids. Using small and speedy boats and armed with AK-47s, the pirates became a constant threat in the area, and from 2010 to 2015 about 60 pirate attacks happened every year. And while efforts in the mid-2000s have caused a sharp decline in attacks, after all, just over one attack occurred per year between 2016 and 2021, the reality is that the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean as a whole will likely continue to be dangerous until Somalia's internal problems are sorted out. I'll see you next time. Watch our Waves playlist for more Top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.